Uh, hello friends uh, in this video i am going to show you how to create a multiple application rules in pega and what is the purpose of creating the multiple application rules okay we will see in this video so before going to explain what is the purpose of uh, multiple application rules in pega so let's discuss about the problem first let's discuss about the situation first why should we need to create a multiple application rules in pega okay so let me tell you the business context i am from so and so company my client is sbi bank okay i have successfully developed a bpm solution with pega for a sbi client the phase 1 was successfully delivered and deployed in production on june 1st phase 1 was successfully completed and deployed in production on june 1st now this is my sbi apel 010101 this is my stable application in this application i have delivered all the features to the sbi client for credit card processing successfully and deployed in production and the client was very happy now from june 10th onwards the phase 2 of the application development will be started phase 2 of the application development so in phase 2 sbi client is asking so i need a solution for home loans processing as well as uh, uh, car loans processing okay now total 10 members of the team started working on the home loans processing and car loans processing from june 10th okay so as per the budget as per the timelines okay so the company our project manager divided the 10 members into two teams five people please work on team 1 please work on the home loans and team 2 please work on the car loans okay plan is ready the team will started working on the development soon that means on june 10th fine so as of now this is my sbi apple 0101 this is my stable application no errors completely defect free since this application went to production and uh, this is my stable application as well as in the development qa stage and production now from june 10th onwards i am going to start developing the new features which is a car loans processing which is a home loans processing okay now my lsa what my lsa did is uh, so there are multiple ways we can start doing the development i am not talking about the multiple ways so what my lsa is uh, lsa created two new applications one is sbi apple 020101 another application is sbi apple 030101 okay now i'll show you those two applications i have already created how do you create it you just save as nothing you just save as this application 020101 this is my sbi application click on create and open save similarly you can create save as the same base application this is nothing but a base application save as just a 03 because the version name is 030101 click on create and open save so similarly i have created a two new applications so this is my sbi apple 020101 and this is my sbi apple 030101 so finally two new applications got created now each and every application that means my 020101 application is built on my base and stable application my base which is a stable application sbi apple 010101 why because i don't want to disturb this application because this is a stable application this is a defect free application i don't want to disturb this application what some people will do some people will create modifying this rule set versions etc etc start doing the development etc but i don't want to disturb this application okay 
Now I have created a, a separate application for car loans processing, separate application for home loans processing. Each and every application is built on my base application SBA Apple 010101. This is my stable application because which was already deployed in production. From June 10th onwards, I am going to use this application. I don't want to disturb this version. I don't want to disturb this version. This is a stable version. Whatever the magics and whatever the R&D enhancements, you can do it in this application. Don't disturb the previous version. Similarly, you team also, you people are also, please use this application. You don't disturb the previous version. But each and every application. So see, remember this point here. Remember this point here. You must and should reuse the existing functionality, right? You are going to build a new functionality on top of the existing functionality. You are not going to do from scratch. You are not going to do the development from a scratch. You have already a stable version. You are adding the new enhancements or a new functionalities. That's why my each and every application is built on SBI Apple 010101. Now, the next question is, sir, why should we create a multiple applications? Uh, then how can we maintain access to these multiple applications? Uh, how can we maintain an access to these multiple applications? Then what LSA will do? Our senior system architect will do. Okay, boss, I have created a two new applications, 020101 and 030101. Okay, now I am going to create a two new access groups. I am going to create a two new access groups. Remember this point, I did not make any changes. As it is, SBA Apple 0101 save as, that's it. Save as, that's it. I did not make any changes. I did not make any changes. But uh, ultimately, if an operator an access to this application by logging into the operator because of access group, operator who is having a proper access group to proper application, then they can able to access the appropriate application. So what is my operator ID? Open my operator ID. So my operator is uh, pointing to this access group. See my operator admin one is pointing to this access group. Then SBI Apple 010101. So very simple. If I am going open this access group, open this access group, I can change this application to 020, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0201101. Then next question, sir, what about the 03 application users? What about the operators who are accessing the 03 application? Sir, what about the operators who are accessing the G SBI Apple 010101? So that's why I don't want to disturb the existing access group. I don't want to disturb the existing access group. Why? Because, why? Because already this is a stable application. But even though this is a stable application, which is already in production, what team will do? Team will, team will do the bug fixes whenever any production issue is raised. Whenever any production issue is raised. That's why, that's why. Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to create two new access groups. Very simple. See. I am going to create a two new access groups. What is that access group? Open existing access group SBI Apple others. Now I am just a save as save as SBI Apple car loan others. That's it. SBI Apple car loan others. Which is pointing to 0 2? Which is pointing to 0 2? Just click on save. See, everything is remain same. Roles and portals, other configuration settings remains same. Now, save as SBI Apple Home Loan. Click on create and open. Everything is remain same. Just pointing to this application. Save. That's it. That's it. Two access groups are created. I did not modify any rule, any roles. I did not modify any access role to objects. I did not modify any privileges, etc. Leave it. Just created two access groups. Now what I am going to do now? 
I will instruct to the team. Team A, you have a five people. Please map your operator IDs to the SBI Apple Car Loan Colon Other Access Group. Team B, you have a five people. You should map your operator ID should map it to the SBI Apple Home Loan and Colon Other Access Group. So I'll just show you. I'm going to create this operator ID. For example, admin one, right? Now save as save as admin eleven. Uh, okay, just admin eleven. Okay, click on create and open. Assuming, assuming, I'm changing to the SBA Apple Car Loan Others. That's it. See this? This guy is pointing to this guy is pointing to zero two zero one application. Now, security perspective, update the password. Rules at the rate one two three. So rules at the rate one two three. Click on submit. Save. That's it. Now this guy can able to access. This guy can able to point it to zero two zero one zero one application. Now what I am doing is admin one right. Save as admin one two one two. Click on create and open. I am just changing. Okay, already exist. Okay, one three. One three. Click on create and open. Now changing the access group to what access group we have given just now? SBI car loan, right? This time SBI home loan. Now this is pointing to zero three. Save. Changing the password also. This guy password. Rules. But in real time, they will not create a new operator ID. Already they have an operator ID. Just open that operator ID. They can change their access group. Rules at the rate one two three. Click on submit. Save. Now just log off. Just log off. Now I am the admin eleven. My password. Rules at the rate one two three. Now I can able to access the SBI Apple zero two zero one zero one application. See this one. Open the application definition. See my application version is zero two zero one zero one. So whatever the changes, if you want, you can do it. If you want, you can add n number of branches and you can start doing whatever the development you want. It will not impact to the others. It will not impact to the previous application version. Similarly, so what is his access group? What is his access group? SBI car loan others. Now admin thirteen, this guy rules at the rate one two three because uh, this is for home loans team. They will start accessing the application now. Open his application. What is the application definition? This team will create a new branches. So whatever the branches they want, they can start doing the changes for home loans development. If you want, you can open operator. See, this is pointing to SBI Home Loan Authors. So, in this way, you can create multiple application versions, uh, and you can do the parallel development. Uh, will not impact to the others' development work. Uh, will not impact to the base applications. Uh, okay, you can do whatever the development you want. You can change and you can modify. You can delete, etc., etc., etc. Very, very smooth. way of doing the development so sir we have created a multiple applications so what shall we do after the development you just simply delete the finally you successfully developed the application development that means home loans development process is completed and car loan development process is completed and the rule set versions are created etc successfully done your changes testing fine what you have to do next come back log off now come back to your main application come back to your main application 
incorporate those changes incorporate those changes currently you are in which application now i am in the base application as usually some other teams are working on the base application now you five people have completed the development other five people have completed the development successfully tested fine after that what you have to do you have to come back and update the rule set versions here in the main application rule update the rule set versions in the main appli application rule so that uh, your changes will be reflected to the base application your changes will be reflected to the base application this is nothing but a integration testing because after your development you have to integrate with the previous application right as of now you individually developed and individually tested and working fine now you have to incorporate your changes to the main application now modify this rule set version and try to i mean i mean do the integration testing or do the regression testing by the testers if everything is successfully done then move your changes to the qa then move your changes to the qa then what is the purpose of maintaining the 02 application and 03 application if you want you can delete it and if you want you can delete those access groups also no use in this way you can create a multiple application versions and you can enhance or you can do the parallel development sir my next question is the parallel development can be achieved by using the branches as well right then what is the purpose of creating these multiple applications i am not talking about the branch based development even you can achieve this by using the branches but still but still there were there but still there is some problem with the branch based development uh, to raise a conflicts even if you can use the branch based development uh, you can get some conflict sometime you can get some conflicts you can get some conflict sometime okay so that's why uh, I, i am creating the new application version i am using the development after that i can so remember this point uh, sir now this is sbi apple 0101 right okay after your car loan changes after your home loan changes now what people will do people will save as this application as a 020101 why because again this is the next stable version 020101 because sbi apple 01001 is only credit card processing after your version 2 changes your lsa our senior system architect what they will do is they save as this application into 020101 and they can keep it as a, this is the stable one now in the version 3 what they will do let me tell you okay so i'm just what they will do they will create a new version 040101 or 050101 etc they will start creating the multiple applications and they will start doing the development their wish so i hope you understand the how to create a multiple applications each and every application is built on your base application now go to the records application definition see sbi apple 0201 this is built on 01 my base application and this is built on my after successfully development what i can do i can simply delete this application rule not required i can simply after incorporating my changes to my base application what i can do i don't want to maintain this rule delete not required and even you are also delete not required successfully deployed successfully migrated sorry successfully integrated to my base application 010101 after your changes are successfully integrated what lsa will do after i mean um, after production deployment or before production deployment uh, lsa what lsa will do is uh, just save as this as 020101 click on create and open and my built on is my built on is 0101 save now in phase version 3 in version 3 
LSA will treat it as or development team will treat it as this is the stable version. SBI Apple 020101 is the stable version. Again from this onwards they will save as create another application version temporarily and they will start doing the development for version 3. Like this uh, the rock and roll mechanism will be happening. Okay. I hope you understand. Okay. Please let me know if you have any questions and concerns. Please put your concerns in the comments. Thank you so much.